Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I'm making a little bit of a video to... Oh, yeah, you in the video? Okay. Hi, hi. I think we Okay, go play, go play. Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a chatty one. So this week I had a really crazy experience happen. I got scammed. Um, I've never been scammed before and I know, getting scammed, doesn't that suck? And um, I'm gonna tell you all about it. Okay, thank you, we'll take that inside. So it's called the Google Voice Scam. And what happened was, so as you guys know, I sell a lot of stuff on Facebook Marketplace. I'm always selling on Facebook. I try and make like $100 a week. That's like my personal goal. And um, so, you know, I'm pretty quick to respond when people start messaging me on Facebook. So I was trying to sell my husband's um, leather jacket and I got this message from this guy and uh, he said hey is this still available I message him yes it's still available he said great can I come now for good job so he asked if he could come today to pick it up and so I said of course yeah um, here's my address and um, I'll leave it hanging out on the porch in a bag and you can just put the money into the mailbox. That's usually how I do it since COVID. Um, so it's like contactless transactions. You don't have to meet the person or anything. So he says, okay, I'll, I'm on my way. Send me your cell phone number. And I did, I sent him my cell phone number, figuring that he would like text me when he got there. Oh, it's so hard to make a video with kids. So I sent him my cell phone number and he sent a message. He says, okay, just to make sure you're like legit, I sent you a Google verification code. If you send that to me, then I'll know you're legit and I'll come by for the jacket. So I got a text message with the Google verification code and without really just thinking, I copied pasted it into the chat in Messenger on Facebook and I sent him this verification code. And then I said, okay, so are you coming by? Are you gonna, are you going to pick up the jacket? And um, I have really nice raspberries right now. And then as soon as I sent that message, I realized I was blocked and he blocked me. I thought, oh, that's weird. Like, why would he block me? So I had the jacket sitting out on my porch and this guy never comes by for it. So I told my husband, I was chatting with him and I was like, this weird thing happened. Like this guy asked for a Google verification code and then I got blocked. He said, Rosh, you just got scammed. He took your cell phone number and used it and you to set up an account of some type through Google and you know how they send those verification codes to your cell phone numbers? Well, you just verified that for him. I was like, oh crap, you're right. I totally just got scammed. Um, and I was so upset about it. I was so just insecure that this person was gonna be stealing my identity or um, running some type of a horrible scam with my cell phone number now. And they had my address, they knew where I lived and I just like panicked and thought of all the worst case scenarios and honestly it really robbed Mommy. me of my peace for two, three days. Mommy. You have to pick the red ones, the ripe ones. Not that one. Ben, how that one wasn't really ripe. Ah. Guacala, that one's not really ready. So I realized that I was scammed. And I Googled it and um, like I Googled what happened to me 
and apparently this has happened to so many people and it's called the Google Voice Scam. So what these people do when they're in other countries, they want to have like a Canadian number or an American number. So they will um, go on Facebook Marketplace and they'll find someone selling something in the country of choice. So they find um, someone who's selling on Facebook Marketplace in the country where they want a Google Voice number. And Google Voice, it's basically a phone number that you can get. It's that's yeah over the internet. I didn't even know this existed. So um, I yeah they set up an account using my number, which I verified, and they got themselves a Google Voice account. So this is like a legit scam that people are like apparently super aware of, except for me, duh. Um, and um, then I was Googling what to do about it. So I read through all of like the help forums on how to retake back my cell phone number. And I had to set up my own Google Voice account and then list my own cell phone number as the like confirmation phone number and get a Google verification code and um, retake back my cell phone number that way. So I was able to fix the situation uh, as much as possible. I mean, this person still got away with it. And honestly, only God knows what this person did with my phone number and my address. But it did really like set off a whole lot of red flags for me. Like I realized, wow, I need to be way more careful about who I give out my personal phone number to. I need to be way more careful on the internet in general to protect my privacy and my identity. It's so easy now to steal someone's identity. And um, I, I mean, with something as simple as an address or a phone number, they can get so much information about you. And it was really scary and really made me feel vulnerable and um, stupid that I fell for it. I was so upset about it. Then at the end of the day, my husband's like, look, it, it, that, it happened. That's a shitty experience, but you have to move forward and not worry about it. And um, yeah, I like there's nothing I can do. So I wanted to share the experience, of course, here on my channel, just um, in the hopes that other people will be aware of this scam. And um, yeah, take care, take caution to protect your identity. So now that I've discovered the world of Google Voice, <laughs> I actually thought hmm, this is an interesting idea to have a Google voice number so that you don't have to give out your private phone number um, to just anybody. So this is really cool for entrepreneurs or people running businesses, um, especially if you have a website and you have to put like your business number on there, instead of putting your private phone number um, on the website, you could put a Google voice number there and then it just forwards to your cell phone. So, um, it's a new software, online software, digital software that I just became aware of in the world of business. Unfortunately, became aware of it through a scam, which totally sucks, but it is what it is. I'm still learning, still growing as a person, and um, just becoming less naive every day, realizing that there are bad people in this world. There really are. I hope you who's watching this is one of the good ones. Don't take advantage of people. It's not nice. Okay, that is it for now. I am going to finish picking raspberries with my boys. Slam the like button if you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Okay guys, you only pick the ones that have colors. Look it, these ones here are ready. No, this one's ready. No. Oh. This